Wow. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the microphone's actually working. This headset you get, the stock one you get with the PS4 is abysmal, and that's what I'm stuck with for now. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Josh is an alpha, apparently.
Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ah, I got your dimension. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Yeah, that would change straight oh. away. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Oh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all good. It's just a stupid prank. Oh, oh. the cunts, and they can't do that. You guys are jerks. You know that? Yeah, Hannah. I agree with her. Yeah, follow the noise. Go, Damn go. It, Hannah, where are you? Can't be around here. Now it tells me. Hello? Hello? What the hell is a deaf daughter? I 
Hannah, where are you? Right, why would there be something like breeze fire it mods or something like that? Hannah! Oh, she's all right. Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. It's so dumb. Hannah, is that? Run, run. Oh no! No fall. Both dead. Is that like game over? No. No, it can't be. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Hey. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, I see, I see. Let's see, the scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Uh, 
Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. Oh. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Please blow me a kiss. Oh, excuse me. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes!
Someone there? Jesus, never mind. Bella? You hungry? Huh? Ah, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Ah, 
Aha! Look who it is. Hey, Nosy. Scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Here goes. So, girl. <laughs> well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Maybe she had a knife. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh, my God. Chris, oh. Matt, get it away. <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look. Our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. I was attacked by a crow and I was all out of that. Oh man, look at this. Yes. Nice! You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. For you. Oh, real gentleman. Man, it is... It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Well, she over the side, but we well for I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You 
you gonna publish? What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. That's a bridge. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of the worried. Oh, still, no, it's not a bad game. It's a good idea. Really. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, mm. are we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap-snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. To this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M. Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. 
You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Whoever. Uh -huh. <gasps> Did you see us view? Yeah, whatever. I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? This? Hey. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? You're looking at him. I meant to check things and carry no bags. Were you last slave die of wench? <coughs> Chill. We're almost there. No, I'm mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Fucking Jesus! <hell. laughs> You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell so you. Gotta get him told. Do we understand each other? Don't cheat on my uh, bitch. She belongs to me. But yeah, fine. Mike. No, 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 no. It's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road. Be all mature yeah. shit. Yeah. Come on. Over here. Up, man. Peace. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha. You know that. Yeah, see? And now I'm getting a piece of the pie. Oh, oh, yes. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, why? If you give me some action, then I I'll may just do Sam. it. Just for you. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Put your foot down. Oh, go on. I'll, I'll agree. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse at the rest of the way. If she dies, no, though. Like you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Yeah, Thank see you. you up there, babes. I would have thought this gen, did they got rid of the whole plastic faces, then they would have been a bit more realistic. They're still pretty ghost, but. <sighs> Has a crush on Chris. Inquisitive. Forthright. What are we looking for? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Oh Not no. In the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. That's bad that. See? She's he's macking on her. Macking on my wench. Oh dear. You might see him. Nah, I, this is a PG broadcast, not an 18. Oh, Fucking God. hell! Oh. Hey, oh. Oh. Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. it's fine. What are you looking at? 
scared the shit out of me. Uh, Thank you very much for that, you prick. Uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, oh, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? Smack him in the face. Know. Good aim, though, no. Smack him. Oh, well. I'll check my phone. Fucking hell. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing! Crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. Yeah, because I really just want to have a snowball fight rather than play a game. Fuck's sake. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh, that was pretty hey. funny. Oh, snap! Okay. okay, just just flipped in. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Oh no! <laughs> Damn, Jess. What you did? I know, I know. Oh no, poor Freddy, poor little Tweety Birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> that was funny. Whoa! This ain't no oh Disney flick. Michael? <laughs> gotcha. It's done. Done city. So did I. Go on, lad. Get him out. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until Come on, later. bend her over then. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, yeah, sounds like... Whoa! Oh my god! That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us. Yeah, I mean, wow. If you hadn't oh, so away, literally, this is my final destination now. So if I had not pressed triangle yeah. quick enough then. That they stuck through him and me. Woo! Hello again. And how are we feeling? Huh? Oh, who's this fella? In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious.
I'm going to say a uh, uh, man with him here. Hmm. I like them driving gloves. Ye rats. Fucking hate them. Actually, it's like Scarecrow from Batman. Oh. What the hell is there any need for that there? Sorry. You're doing very well. Dumping love. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I don't like the both, to be honest. I don't like spiders so much either. I'm not bothered about the needle. Or crows, what's that pick? I like zombies. Whoa! This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Rats, clowns. Dogs. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Shouldn't be rubber face uh, prick. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. All right, then I'll see you in a bit. Wow, well, what am I going doing now? Flitting again. Previously on Until Dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut First off, I gotta That's say, so I'm up. super excited to welcome all my pals back the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. <sighs> For the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Yeah, found out that he's a cheat. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. So he's thoughtful on, and loving. Here. Probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Whoops. Hey guys. Get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, 
More or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. We need to get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want to stay. You know, a good time don't lie. Now, like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's <sighs> what else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like kick it in open or something. Boot it, Wait, put saying, boots are to you it. Saying we should break in? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. Hey Ash. Hi, Chris. Doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. Why would you go back, back if back two of here, your mates huh? died? Yeah. You just wouldn't, would you? Walk faster, come on, it's depressing, I slowly move. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? Like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you mm. see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect Seriously, life right? scenario? If I ever said to with erotic so long, would you like to go to the bones of I think at last. I'd probably You've get a laid right all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. <sighs> yeah, because when you climb, you walk like a pack. And you stand with you. Oh. Oh. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this.
Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. That's not good, is it?